latest on June 29th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Tropical Storm Alvin is weakening after reaching hurricane status early yesterday. Invest 94E has also formed behind it and will probably become the next storm. Tropical Depression 4W has formed in the Philippine Sea and could become a tropical storm very soon. It's day 29 of Atlantic hurricane season and no systems are active at this time. Indeed, none of the models are expecting anything in the next five days. The Eastern Pacific is in day 46 and it's finally really getting going, with 94E an 80% chance of development and a fair chance of more systems following right behind it. Tropical Depression 4W is expected to move towards the northwest, JTWC fancies a 60 knot landfall in Taiwan. No storms are active in the southern hemisphere at this time, it's all clear once again. Tropical Storm Alvin is weakening 50 miles an hour, 1,000 millibars, according to the last National Hurricane Center update. Its position is currently at 19.9 degrees north, 118.9 west, 288 miles west of Clarion Island. And moving away from any other land areas at this point, Alvin is well on its way out and will be turning post-tropical pretty soon, uh, probably sooner than we're giving uh, the credit for in this animation. It will certainly be gone by Monday. One reason why Alvin is capitulating right now is those high wind shear values of 20 to 25 knots. Also, sea surface temperatures are really declining underneath the storm, dropping below the threshold that would be considered ample for tropical cyclone development. So Alvin on its way out and not too much else to say about it at this point. So let's move on to the Atlantic wide view which looks like this. A few small tropical waves moving through there at low latitude. Uh, into the Caribbean, not too much going on there. Some thunderstorm activity off the southern coast of Florida and over the Bahamas at this time. Um, but that disturbance just south of Panama there, that could possibly be the catalyst for the next cyclone in the eastern Pacific. Gulf of Mexico generally looking pretty quiet. Here's the eastern Pacific, there's Alvin quite clearly moving through and 94E just about on the edge of the image there um, and it's quite a broad system at this time and we do expect that it will become our next storm and it will be a little bit bigger than Alvin was. Alvin's uh, influence just about appearing on the right hand side of the screen there for the central pacific in the central pacific itself not too much going on 4w there on the left hand side of the image here in the western pacific um, and that frontal system there which is also carrying what was left of 94w um, and also another little disturbance there in the south china sea and some models think that that could become a tropical cyclone into China as well. It's a bit of a complex situation there with that system already existing for W. The Australia and South Pacific region looks pretty quiet, some uh, convection occurring not too far from Fiji however. And in the Indian Ocean the Bay of Bengal uh, has a few thunderstorms occurring there, some interesting cloud tops moving gradu gradually towards the south, not too much going on in general but India a few areas of thunderstorms. The eastern part of the eastern Pacific remains very warm, just in time for that train of storms that could be about to take place. It is normal for this time of year, 28 to 30 degrees Celsius, possibly even more off the coast of Mexico. Uh, the Atlantic pretty warm across the board as well, same as yesterday really. Uh, the North Indian Ocean, 28 to 30 degrees in the Arabian Sea. In the Bay of Bengal, a little bit warmer, 30 degrees plus off the coast of India and Bangladesh. In the South China Sea, very warm, piping hot actually, same two in the Philippine Sea for those two systems that were watching, one of them unofficial. This is a close-in look at Tropical Depression 4W on the floater imagery. Uh, you can see that convection that's been blowing up uh, definitely got a good center of circulation. Wind speed's estimated to be around 30 miles per hour at this point, uh, and that looks like it's going to increase. Uh, interesting about the JTWC forecast wanting a 70 mile an hour landfall in Taiwan, uh, so that's something we're going to have to watch even though models don't really support that at this time. And there is what's left on Go 17 of Tropical Storm Alvin. Um, I do say what's left because it really is dying a death right now and the National Hurricane Center will probably uh, take no time in downgrading it substantially at the next advisory. 
so the next name in the Atlantic is Barry in the Eastern Pacific we're looking out for Barbara and in the Central Pacific the next name is Akoni we've had 28 storms so far around the world in 2019 the next name in the Western Pacific is Mun and that could form very soon in the North Indian Ocean it's Hika you can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already. Please subscribe if you haven't. And you can also find our Facebook and Twitter pages. Search Force 13 all in text for the latest updates. And to get in touch with us, you can use any of those outlets too. That's all for now. Another Tropical Weather Bulletin follows tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.